Hey beautiful people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me do a review on a clone of a very popular perfume. In, as a matter of fact, I think there's a mix of few fragrances that I actually own, but I didn't bring it, bring them here, but I'll talk about it. The fragrance is going to be called Meat Tobacco. And some people say uh, Tobacco Meat. There are different names of these clones. I think these are all from Middle Eastern countries and there are a lot of various companies that do that. But I think more or less they're the same fragrance. Everybody's trying to cash in. So I happened to bump into this one, like last time I did this perfume, I think it was a different house also, this is called Tobacco uh, Intense, is that the name? Yeah, Tobacco Intense, this was a uh, sort of like Karen Herrera's, uh, what's the tobacco, Mysterious Tobacco, and then uh, also something similar to this one, Red Tobacco by Mancera. So this was a good clone of those and uh, very nice quality, good longevity, really nice looking bottle. It's actually cloned. Uh, the Karuna Harris private line. So I think it was Mysterious Tobacco's clone, yeah. So Meat Tobacco, uh, it's like another fragrance, okay? Uh, they are not the same. They are not the same. The tobacco name is there, but I think they're trying to do sort of this tobacco series that some of them are similar to some black by Killians, some of them are similar to maybe Tom Ford's, you know, so on and so forth. So I smell this. I saw the box. I'm like, hmm, looks familiar, this box, right? This is how that box looks. So this fragrance house is called Fragrance Deluxe, okay, and it's a uh, hundred ml EDP concentration. Is this made in Dubai? That's what I'm trying to find out. I, I, I'm guessing it's Dubai. I didn't look at it, but yeah, it's written. No, I'm guessing it's. Oh no, it's made in France. Sorry, my bad. So these are French perfumery, but they are supposed to be. I understand like twenty something dollars, but they are being sold here for thirty dollars, right? So obviously profit plus the charges and all that. I don't mind paying $30, it's not super expensive. So these are in the same range as some Darmoffs, you know, like budget perfumes. So mid tobacco, let's see, this is how that box looks. Simplistic, very typical boxes. Here is the price tag and then back. And nothing really fancy going on here. This is a typical box you'll see in many Middle Eastern perfumes, perfumes okay? Real of the bottle, amber color bottle, really good for taking pictures, I guess, if you have a good camera and lighting and stuff. The bottle is very good quality, heavy, heavy glass base, and it got some design to it. It's not just a boring bottle. Okay, really beautiful. I really like this bottle, even though this is a budget perfume. The cap, I think it's doesn't click onto place, but I think it's uh, snug fit, good. But the bottle is so heavy. So uh, I'm wearing this in my hand. Let me do one more quick spray and talk about it. Okay, and I'll tell you what this smells like and what this fragrance is trying to uh, clone. Spray is good really really good spray so let that sell down and let me tell you the story why i picked it up i saw this bottle in a shop yesterday in a corner and i'm gonna do initial impression obviously not a full review but i understood what i had to understand it does it's not rocket science you know because if you're familiar you know what it is so i'm like meat tobacco the moment you see tobacco or booze or cognac or something like whiskey those kind of names it attracts a man it's it's normal so i'm like let me try that for a few you know yeah, they are like, oh no, this is a very cheap perfume, you, know, you, may, you may not like it. I'm like, show me, right? So I sprayed this on and I was like, for a moment, I'm like confused. When I smell it, I'm like, woo, love it, love the opening. 10 out of 10 for the opening, I already love it. You know, some of those movies have the best openings, best uh, trailers and it, it captures you right away. And I'm like, I love it. I love it so much. And then I was trying to figure out, hmm, this smells familiar. Is it like a Parfum Ni Marley clone? A lot of names are going on in my hand. And when it settled down, like after five minutes, then I realized what this is. This is similar to Tobacco Vini. And I think some of the sites uh, who sell this perfume, like Parfumo.net or somewhere, they said this is a clone of Tobacco Vini. So let me tell you, I do agree. And then also I'll add some things. This is a dupe of Tobacco Vini. And I did review Al Haramain's Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. That's one. Other one was, uh, I think, man, was the other one. I always forget that house's name. Um... No, I'm not going to remember because <laughs> let's not pretend. But I do have some Tobacco Veni clones. Uh, I think something Tobacco, uh, man, I'll, I'll leave the link. You can check them out. So as a matter of fact, I did, I did say I'm not going to buy Tobacco Veni because I do have good dupes of it, especially the Al Haramain one is superb. Okay, man, I have to remember the name. Hold on. You know me. Wait. Yeah, guys, I really apologize. This is how I work and I, I am not the most organized guy. You guys know me, I'm getting older. But, you know, what's the point of doing a review if I cannot do, you know, things at least in my own way I'm satisfied. 
So I was talking at first like this one, and I got them both, Al Haramain, uh, Amber Oud, the Tobacco Edition one. This is a fantastic nuclear projection, beast mode of uh, Tobacco Veni. This is a better bet in every way than Tobacco Veni of Tom Ford because Tom Ford is original one, but this is a dupe. But price versus what you get, Tom Ford is crazy expensive. It's unbelievable how expensive those are. This one, affordable. But when I say affordable, it's not really cheap. This one can go up to 100 something dollars for 60 mil. The other one I was trying to talk about was also not super cheap, but this is called uh, Tobacco by Frank Bocklet. Okay, look at the juice color, wicked, right? So these two solve my problem of Tobacco Vini. And I would say Tobacco Vini is such a great fragrance, like Tuscan leather, Tobacco Vini, Noir de Noir, automatically, like these names will come to you, you know, like Tom Ford and those fragrances are, you know, <laughs> hard to miss. So when I talk about like Tobacco Vini clone, the, these two, are not really uh, super cheap okay this one i remember was nearly 100 dollars for tester like 65 75 bucks but still not cheap this one tester was like 65 dollars uh, if you go al haram in bangladesh it's gonna cost you 120 plus dollars so this is why i picked up meat tobacco okay sometimes you need guilty pleasures you want to spray sparingly you don't want to worry about hey i'm spraying so much money on me no first thing okay the price of it very affordable second thing is the opening really won me over and the thing is it's not really as spicy as tobacco veni that's the best thing some tobacco veni haters are there because how spicy it is you know some people cannot deal with the spice this one very sweet it's it reminds me of three fragrances okay three tobacco veni one second is uh, second is what <laughs> i'm sorry i think it's called memo african leather i knew it's gonna come to me and the third fragrance i was thinking about is called st dupont perfect tobacco that one is nearby me yeah this one if you know the sweetness of it kind of like gourmand vanilla chocolatey vibe this one has that chocolatey sweet vibe kind of like uh, amber okay some fruity notes when you spray it it's not that smoky so the tobacco in this it's sort of like a sweet candied like a wrapped around in a candy you know, it's like a very edible gourmand sort of kind of like this kind of fashion, Dolce Gamana, Royal Knights, you know. So it's spicy, but sweet, nicely balanced. That's the opening. And you also get that opening of Memo Paris, cardamom a little bit. That's what I get from this. Okay, so it's a mix of a lot of perfumes, three big perfumes at a much cheaper price tag. The dry down here, it's going to be mild, mild version of Tobacco Veni. Uh, I would say more wearable unisex style longevity is four to five hours you do not expect more than that but it projects really well for first one hour okay so for the price point that i paid i do not see any problem with it in as a matter of fact in winter it may perform better okay so you can carry a decant with you if you feel you're going outdoors or you can carry the bottle itself no problem but at least for three to four hours you're going to be good with the performance really really good some of you may say um, why do i need this you know if i have uh, do not have beastly like 10 hours projection longevity why should i get it you don't have to i'm just saying all i'm saying is an option that i'm giving you you can give it a try you can own a very beautiful bottle this doesn't look cheap by any means if i didn't tell you the price tag of it some of you will be guessing 150 bucks plus okay right yes i know so the quality of the bottle is very beautiful even though it's a copy from another inspired by another house but well done okay bottle is good price tag is good smell is good longevity is agreeable uh, some negatives would be this one you cannot wear like when i smell this it smells like you're at a bar smoking cigars like a bar scenario it smells like a dating scenario beautiful five-star hotel you're gonna have valentine's day dinner or special plans with candlelights you're gonna be uh, like nice fine wine or champagne stuff okay you can wear this it's like those kind of scenario but workplace if you're wearing this people may not uh, like you know like you that much because you're trying to be sexy at workplace okay this is sexy right so not good for work or gym as a matter of fact when it's sunny days very hot and out here humid outside like 40 degrees Celsius you are just melting you know literally melting <laughs> they don't put this on okay this is gonna be a bit too much right but the smokiness from it is hint of smoke which is good it's like muted version of tobacco vini st dupo perfect tobacco and then memo african 
leather okay miope is african leather that's what you get from this different different stages but uh, very good quality for the it's a good bargain for the money okay so this is not niche quality but on its own it holds like a nice little ground okay it's like solid okay so overall the perfume meat tobacco fragrance deluxe this perfume i'm giving this a solid 8.5 out of 10 check it out good perfume good smelling fragrance and especially if you like tobacco vinny less spicier more sweeter gourmand version of that one thank you so much for watching i'm very glad i did this in winter time perhaps you know after i uh, test you know test run more in colder months i'll give you an update on this one okay have a nice day thanks for watching if you find it somewhere give it a try i think you're gonna like it how you like it? you're gonna like it because it's those likable ones mercedes-benz club black if you like that you know you can give it a try thanks for watching good night from Dhaka, bangladesh Bye bye